to order this meeting of the Village of Ashcroft Council for Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. Uh, before we start uh, the meeting proper, I'd just like to uh, acknowledge Captain Brian Lannan of Kamloops Fire Rescue. Captain Lannan was with uh, Kamloops Fire Rescue since 1994, and he tragically lost his life in, uh, in an accident in ok on Okanagan Lake uh, earlier this month. He was um, a good friend of the Ashcroft and Cache Creek Fire Departments, and in fact, Captain Lannan was one of the members of KFR who came here on the day of the funeral service for um, Chief Cassidy in 2017 and took over uh, the manning of the stations in Ashcroft and Cache Creek so that our firefighters could all attend Chief Cassidy's uh, service. So we thank Brian, Captain Lannan for his service to, uh, to Kamloops and to the area and just a moment of silence for, um, for one of our fallen firefighters. So we move on to tonight's order of business and we start with the adoption of the agenda. We do have one late item for the agenda, so I would like to move that the, ado uh, the agenda be um, adopted as amended. The amendment uh, concerns item number 6.4, sweeper purchase. Do I have a seconder for that motion? Councillor Anderson? Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Carried. Item 2.1, uh, minutes of the regular meeting of council held on Monday, May the 10th, 2021. Uh, Councillor Davenport, move them as uh, presented. Yes. Uh, second by Councillor Tuey. Are there any errors or omissions? On the question, all those in favor? Carried. We have no delegations this evening. Do we have any public input via the Hub Online Network? We have Gloria Martins on the line. All right. Sorry, Gloria. Yep, I'm here. Can you guys do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead, Gloria. I'm here. No, go ahead. You have the floor. Um, is it, isn't this, I think I'm just on right now, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Can you hear them, Gloria? Can you can you hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. Can you hear them? Oh yes, I can I can hear them. There probably is some feedback, so I'll try. Okay. Yeah, you have the floor. Okay. <laughs> There's that delay there. Okay. Um I'll see if I can mute it somehow. Jeez, how do you mute this? Okay, I'll just I'll just turn it off. Okay, um, just a couple of comments. Uh, 5.1 with regards to the um, the amendment for the OCP and the zoning. I just need some explanation on uh, uh, through the chair with regards to page 47, um, paragraph. Uh, I guess it's two, three, and four, mostly paragraph four. So I just, uh, I'll, I'll sort of interpret what I think it means. Um, so that there is, um, the archae arche archaeologist has confirmed that an, an assessment will be required for the phase two subdivision. Uh, there was something about a proposed new lot, and I'm assuming the proposed new lot is the new parcel that we're talking about, the entire parcel. First of all, is that correct? What, the, are we talking about the proposed new lot is the entire parcel? That is the entire parcel of 6.74 hectares. Excellent. Okay. And uh, so my, uh, my question is regarding the conceptual plan. Um, will it be essentially the registered subdivision plan? And will there be any subsequent public hearing with regards to the final submission of the uh, subdivision uh, plan? I know that usually happens during the zoning phase, but because there might be a considerable time frame between the uh, submission of final subdivision plans or some changes to those subdivision plans, I'm just wondering if there will be a public hearing so that the community might have input into um, what the subdivision might look like. Uh, CEO Dick. Thank you, Your Worship. 
Yes, um, the conceptual drawing of the plan that's attached to the, the um, proposal is no longer valid in essence it's it remained a part of the report because that's how it was initially submitted it is only a mock-up an idea when the property sells and the new developer moves forward then there will be that that development plan will at that time be received at the village of office at the village office and we will follow the process because this is a very old, this is from the previous developers. That's right. So this is merely the parcel of land to give an idea of the size. This was their proposal. Yes. This is not necessarily the proposal of a new developer. Correct. Right. Thank you. Okay, I didn't hear any of that, so I'm sorry, but there, there's just a very bad audio. So I will uh, see if I can understand it after the meeting. Um, uh, the, the only other comment is uh, regarding 11.1 uh, uh, Mayor Roden's report. I'm just on behalf of the Ashcroft Sleuth Society like to extend our, our thanks for uh, Mayor Roden for making the motion at the TNRD meeting. Uh, that motion was passed and we appreciate this movement uh, with regards to the regional district um, giving us some balance in representation. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Are That's there any Troy. other questions or comments, Troy? That is everything at this time. Thank you very much. All right, we move on to section five, item 5.1, TNRD Manager of Planning Services. We have the rezoning and OCP amendment application. That was just under discussion. And what is council's pleasure on this item? It's on page five, and we do have recommendations. Well, I will get the ball rolling by moving recommendation one that official community plan amendment bylaw number 837 2020 be adopted. I'll second. Second by Councillor Tui. Thank you. Any discussion on this? No. All right, on the question then, all those in favor? Carried. And we have a second recommendation. Is that just below there? Mm -hmm. Yep, number two, about zoning amendment bylaw number 838. Okay, I'm not in the right on area. On page five. Me neither. So I will, I will move that zoning amendment bylaw number 838-2020 be adopted. Second that. Councillor Davenport seconds that. Any discussion on this question? No? All right then, on the question, all those in favor? Carried. All right. It's moving on to the next item, which is, whoops, there we go. I think we've just covered the next item, yeah. have we? Yeah, that's You're on 6.1. Pardon me? 6.1. 6, Six uh, 5.1? No, you've completed all of the fives. You've done the bylaws, so you're at 6.1. Oh, all our right. Policy. Wow. <laughs> no, art policy. Yeah, so yep. we move on to item 6.1, public art yeah. policy. 13. Page 13. And we have a recommendation. So, uh, Councillor Anderson. Yeah, um, thank you, Mayor Roden. Um, I'd like to go with the staff recommendation that Council endorse the public art policy, number A01-2021, contract schedule A as presented or amended. Thank you, Councillor Anstead, the second. And discussion on this contract schedule, which I believe is the final part of our public art policy. Councillor Davenport. Uh, it's really reads very well. Um, you and I can understand it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just wanted to point out a couple of things. Just this spelling error, I know it's a mute point or small point. Uh, under return of property, uh, I guess the word is this, not tis. Mm -hmm. oh. um, okay, thank you. And um, 
just that I really appreciate the due diligence that staff has undergone to, to do this. It's, it's quite an or, uh, undertaking, I would think. Um, and uh, that the maintenance, I noticed that the maintenance uh, plan was well thought out as well. And mm -hmm. that was quite an important part for, for our community members to be uh, aware of and for the village, I think, to be uh, mm -hmm. knowing what um, we need to do in that area. So all good stuff. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? Yes, thank you to staff for putting this together. It's very comprehensive and I think it, it covers a lot of the things that have been informally discussed over the last few years, but it's good to have it all codified in one place and spelled out and no surprises for anyone. Any other discussion? On the question then, all those in favor? That motion is carried. Item 6.2, First Nation Territory Acknowledgement. Councillor Anstead. I'd like to move with uh, staff's recommendation that council endorses the addition of the First Nations acknowledgement at the beginning of all council and official village meetings. And further, that the acknowledgement be cited as followed. Mayor and council wish to acknowledge that the meeting today is held within the traditional territory of the Nakatman people. Thank you. Councillor uh, Anderson seconds that. Any discussion on this point? Councillor Tui. Thank you, Mayor Oden. Do we get lessons on how to say that? <laughs> yes, we do, and I, I for, forgive me if I'm repeating myself, this has recently come up at the TNRD board table, and uh, Chief Casimir of um was asked about that, and, and it was noted to her that some people are hesitant about the pronunciation because mm -hmm. it can be difficult for a non-native speaker, and she reassured the person that the main thing is that the person is trying. trying. They do not expect perfection. The fact that you're making the attempt is means a lot. So, but yes, we, we can come up with a phonetic spelling <laughs> for anyone who would like to have it noted down. Well, even if we just practice. Yes. Yeah. So we're comfortable. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And thank you to staff for clarifying about the, um, uh, the meeting point of the two nations mm -hmm. as well. Hmm. Any other discussion on the question? All those in favor? That is carried. Item 6.3, report from the Chief Financial Officer, Municipal Insurance Association Service Provider Agreement. Councillor Anstead. I'd like to move with the staff recommendation and with the approval of the service provider agreement that council approves the service provider agreement between the village of Ashcroft and Barry Tripp with the date as set out in the service provider agreement. Thank you. Councillor Anderson seconds that. Any discussion? No. Nope. Good to have him back. It's great to have him back. He's such a great ambassador for the village. Somebody said those exact words today. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. On the question, all those in favor? That motion is carried. And we move on to item 6.4, to which there is an amendment. And uh, you should have a copy in front of you, uh, to wit, a new quote on a oh. better, newer, faster, stronger <laughs> model. So uh, the recommendation now is that council approves the sweeper purchase from Weimar Equipment of a uh, model, the Elgin Crosswind. What is it? A 2021 Elgin Crosswind SE Regenerative Air Street at a cost of $331,359. Second by Councillor Anderson. Discussion. Director Benowith, anything to add to the keeper? Your Worship and Council, are sorry for the last minute change here, but literally this came in at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, our supplier, Weimar, had been contacted by their supplier, the manufacturer, and the demo unit that they first came up and showed with it, and we were making a uh, Looking at purchasing for recommendation, they said the manufacturer would no longer honor it due to some certain uh, questionable operation functions on this. So they actually came back and offering what is a brand new machine. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. It's uh, zero hours. Uh, a couple of things that they had issues with was the lift front uh, gate on it and a couple of other ones. So they've actually included on the new unit a backup camera on the left-hand side, a 240 horsepower engine for up from 220, basically a six inch hopper drain, a uh, broom hour meter. The rest of the options basically somewhat stay the same except for man uh, minus a few things, which have been a hopper deluge uh, in control head that head curtain lift and also our warranty instead of making up will be a four full warranty which is be three years on the mm -hmm. chassis one year on the operation of the vac unit so and doing so that they also came in with a better pricing it yeah. will be uh, right hand drive only not dual okay. steering the one we looked at was dual steering this one is a right hand drive only which actually gives a little bit more room in the cab and basically we only drive it right hand anyway so came in saving us money we're appreciated with their honesty and their efforts we're not doing the other machine and coming up with something in its place and uh, the delivery will be a slight bit longer up to two months because it will be off the factory floor okay awesome. being made okay right so a newer model at less money absolutely excellent like <laughs> yes yep. can't really argue with it no no, as you say, uh, good, good on the company for, for realizing there was an issue with the one that they had offered us and, and making it up to us. So, so yes. So, sorry for the late, but this nope. is our new recommendation. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Are there, is there any discussion on this? No. On the motion, then, all those in favor? Carried. We have a new sweeper. Woo! Yay! Yay! We will have a new sweeper. <laughs> and we have a report for information, and that is the CFO report, item 6.5, consulting agreement for lift station. I move that we receive this for information. Second. Councillor Davenport seconds. Any discussion on this? Thank you for your diligence on this, CFO Bala. And, uh, I gather we're getting a lot more bang for our buck with this, and this this is the fully funded grant, and we're getting more than we had originally planned. Your Worship, the, the consulting part has come below estimates, and which is good. It's saving taxpayers money. I know it was 100% funded, but still, yeah. it allows mm -hmm. us a little more flexibility in increasing scope if we need to for for other things. Thank you. Any discussion? On the motion, then all those in favor, that motion is carried. Move on to correspondence. We have one action item, 7.1 from the District of McKenzie, support for a 988 hotline. Councillor Davenport. I move that we, on behalf of Council, uh, provide a letter of support for the creation of a national three-digit suicide and crisis hotline, 988. Thank Second you. That. Councillor Anderson seconds that. Any discussion? On the question, all those in favor? That is carried. And I move that we receive item 7.2 through 7.6 for information. Second. Councillor Tui seconds that. Any discussion on any of the items in there? No. On the information correspondence, all in favor? Carried. Unfinished business, we have item 8.1, the task manager with lots of green on it. Mm -hmm. I'd like to move that we receive the task manager for information. Second that. Councillor Davenport seconds that, thank you. Any questions or comments on any of the items in the task manager? No. Nope. Thank you CFO Dick and staff for mm -hmm. coloring so much of it in green. <laughs> All those in favor? Carried. We have no new business. We have council report from Mayor Roden. Any questions on my report for this week's meeting? Uh, I do have a short update about historic Hat Creek. Um, because of the restrictions on travel and dining, uh, it has been a very slow start to the season. But they are hoping that uh, now with the restrictions being lifted that and, and travel restrictions gradually being uh, lifted as well, that it will enable them to keep on going as planned. They were sort of taking a wait and see approach 
to the beginning of the season. So I think today's announcement will probably have um, given them some hope. CFO Bala. Your Worship, I'd like to add that the tax notices have gone out mm -hmm. and now we are we starting to collect and people are coming in and those people who are having challenges um, doing the homeowner grants, which are online now through the province, um, um, they can come into the office and we help them do it. There's also Service PC, which uh, helps them do the homeowner grants as well and uh, it's moving forward smoothly. Good, thank you. And I'll just, I'm just going to double back and uh, I move that we receive uh, the mayor's report for information. All right. Councillor Tui sure. seconds that. Any further discussion? All in favor? Carried. Uh, Councillor Tui. I was just, thank you, Mayor Roden. I was just going to comment that um, I haven't opened mine yet, but uh, one of my friends and a senior was able to do it online and she said it was quite simple mm -hmm. to figure out so hopefully yeah that'll work for everyone all right may i please have a motion to uh move to a closed meeting second that motion no, uh, okay motion. your oh. uh <laughs> <laughs> councillor davenport made the motion councillor i seconds yeah, thank you <laughs> all those in favor carried we are moving into closed